You know, I didn't know Beethoven number four concerto before. I only know number one, number two, and number five when I was in China. And then what was happened is that I heard a colleague playing the Beethoven number four at Curtis. You know, after I moved to America when I was fourteen, and we have this kind of master class every week. So and I heard Beethoven four, and I. I got really excited about it because it's such a、uh, what you call musician's piece. It's so rich and also it's so introverted.、And、this is also、uh, for me. It's very important because I played lots of extroverted pieces before, and somehow to learn the first major Beethoven concerto, I decided to learn number four to to really learn something very different. I started when I was sixteen. I start playing it in public the first time, and it's helped me a lot. Actually, this piece to understand musically about Beethoven, about classical period of works, and also helped me a lot to understand how to play music in a very very different style. The interesting thing was the first course, the first passage. You know, everything is like a newborn baby, right? So every piece is from nothing, and then from the silence you hear a baby was born. Was born, and this is funny. This is like from nothing, and suddenly you see eighty years old person. <laughs> you know, it's come from nothing, and then it's like. And then the orchestra is so unexpected. It's the most mysterious、um, beginning I ever had, and and so this is really the challenge for every pianist. Everybody is so nervous before, <laughs> and even the the the, the greatest、uh, pianist, they they always when when they. Start playing, always telling me, "Oh, you need to be careful of this passage. It's so, so interesting, but in the same time, so difficult." I think the standard is going to be, you know, I record to make it very, you know, go through it, and then the difficult thing comes: how to play the eighth note because it's with that, with the staccato on it. Are you going to play? To make it more lyrical, more mysterious feeling, or you want to make more clear and more direct. I try to make this more indirect, you know, more mysterious side. So I made the decision to play slightly longer, but not, not like, like a legato, you know, because that I think will be really. I don't think Beethoven will be happy, but I don't know whether he will be happy with me either. But I, I would just say, you know, I just this is so this is a hard thing about Beethoven because you know he wrote everything so clear. Not like Bach, Bach, for example, the Goldberg variation, he didn't write anything. I mean, like you can play or or you can do whatever you want. So, but but he wrote that, but eighth note, you know, not like. Sixteen, sixteenth note with dots or thirty seconds note. This is the 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 charm thing for me to learn this concerto because you have this the most untouchable melodies. It's like world is become two. This is really heaven like. It's just totally. It brings you to another another planet, very quick. I mean, you see. So this piece certainly gives kind of、uh, inspiration to the impressionist. For example, color change, change color change.
This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible, because when you play it, it's just like playing on the heart. You know, and this is so sensible and so colorful, and in a way it has such a, a magnificent impression on people. The second movement, it's it's the story uh, of uh, Alpheus um, about begging um, for his wife to come back to the real world, you know. And then the story was that in order to do that, he can take his wife, but he shouldn't look at her during the way, you know, back to, to the world. And, but he didn't listen. And so he looked at um, his wife. Then everything disappeared. His wife went back and he started crying. And it was very sad. Um, so I am the obvious. Huh? Okay, so I need to be acting like obvious. And an orchestra is the uh, concomitant. Mm -hmm. 